Hello and welcome to a new video. So I didn't make a status with of my accounts for nearly 10 weeks, so or over 10 weeks. So I thought I'd make a new one. So first off, I created this amazing group on CML where I added all my 12 accounts, which are Michael's first to ninth with a space and 10th to 12th without a space. And here you can see all the EHP I got and all these stats. Remember, on the average XP, you have to multiply it by 12 to get my total XP in those skills. So I got 3,219 EHP on all accounts together. So, but I, because I multi-log on 12 accounts, sometimes it didn't take me that long. But probably I wasted enough time doing PKing and other non-EHP stuff that I have played more than 3,219 hours of old school RuneScape, which is quite possible. So you can see that my highest skill is strength with over 10 million average XP. Then there's range. I also got 7 million fishing average that comes out to about 85 million fishing experience. But I stopped doing fishing because I can't drop with AHK anymore and I hate Windows mouse keys because I can't type in game then anymore. So let's get into the accounts and I show you what skills I gained in the last 10 weeks and what untradables I have lost and which ones I have gained. So first on Michael's first I gained one fishing level or more like one and a half because it's nearly 99 now and I stopped because I want to get it 99 with a lot of other skills because I like big parties and stuff. Then I gained eight mining levels. I did that in Modern Load Mine super slow because I just AFK'd it on the side while playing other accounts without getting it as a main thing. You know, you just click there once from time to time and only get like an XP rate of 20k an hour. But I don't really care because I wouldn't be playing it if I wouldn't be doing mining on this account right now. So I didn't really care. So all the cool stuff I have is, of course, I got all the standard untradables like a fire cape, dragon defender, barrow's gloves, um, elite void, and then I got the pet snakeling and the beaver, the important imbued drinks in my opinion. So cool little fun fact, elite void got updated and it looks a little bit different now only graphically updated and I think the gloves don't match the outfit. I think they should change them. But yeah, that's all cool thing things. And also my Bandos page collections grew quite a bit. I collect those for fun. I've like, yeah, I always buddy says those are worthless, but they aren't. So actually I paid like an average of 3K per page. So I paid quite a lot for all those pages together. So like 30,000 pages, 3K average. So I paid like 90 mil for all the pages together. But it's my fun little collection and I hope one day I will reach it to the white stack. But I don't think so, to be honest, because that would take me like five to 10 years probably. So let's get to Michael's second. So next up is Michael's second. On here I gained eight fishing levels, eight agility levels, and one wood cutting level. And also got a wood cutting pet on here as well. So notable untradables, only the fire cape and the wood cutting pet. And you want to see something really painful? Let's go and have a look. Ah, cancer man. I forgot to pick up my decorative top and got Tick's halo. So that's back to Castle Wars for like 76 to 80 hours of just standing around there. Like fuck my life, man. So here on Michael third, this is my circle. You've already seen that in the past. I gained in the last 10 weeks, again, 26 woodcutting levels and 12 farming levels. Uh, the farming levels are only from the Hostesius favor, you know, when you need to make the saltpeter and the compost to this saltpeter whatever shit. This gives you about like level 9 to 21 farming, which is quite chill. So then I also, untradables I got on here, I got a fire cape, a torso, barrow's gloves, rune defender. I got a full void set with all helms and I got the chat pet. By the way, I got it twice. And, or I got it once 
And then I did another 5k because I forgot to pick it up. And I got a message. Like, nice. You can see that in one of my old videos. I think it was a tour through my accounts or something, Michael's third. So let's get on to Michael's fourth. Okay, so on Michael's fourth, I gained 10 attack levels, one wood cutting level, stopped before 99, like always. So eight mining levels, did some mother loan mine AFKing. I need that for Western Elite Diaries, which I'm going to do once I hit 93 Slayer. But I'm not sure if I'm actually going to do it, but probably I will. So then I gained one farming level. I always forget to do my farm runs, so I probably did like two in the last 10 weeks. Then I gained 20 Slayer levels, quite chill, just with melee to, to get it to max combat, since I need a max combat account to be honest. But I never had that goal until uh, like last October or something when I or last summer when I got this account to 99 prayer and I also gained one HP level. So that's all I gained in the last 10 weeks. It's not that much if you think about it, but still some progress. Then I still use rune gloves. Yeah, man. Yeah, I hate questing. Fuck questing, man. Okay, okay, no no anger here, no anger. So um, I have a black mask eye, a dragon defender, some imbues, fire cape, like always a full void set, and I have the hero and pet on here. But to be honest, I have 85 mil fishing experience on all my accounts. I have like three accounts with nearly 99 fishing and only got the pet once. Quite unlucky, to be honest. Let's get to the next account. Now on Michael's fifth, this is my OB tank. Oh, an OB tank is an account with one attack and like 45 or 75 defense and really high strength level, so you can hit super high with the OB mall and tank the shit out of people using a Serapalm and shit, even venoming them. So, I got four fishing levels right here. Um, I didn't get to nearly 99. I'm waiting for that shift click dropping shit because I can't be bothered with Windows mouse keys. So I gained as well as that 4 agility levels from barb fishing and I gained 24 wood cutting levels and that's already it because like 94 to 98 wood uh, fishing takes a really long time for someone who doesn't play as much. I really doesn't play as much as other people but I usually play a lot of accounts thus I'm not being really effective on a single account but overall I gain really a lot of levels. So on here I got a fighter torso also got the Dragon Defender. By the way, Dragon Defender is the only defender you can wear with one attack over iron. You can't wear a Steel Defender or the other defenders. Took me like 20 hours or something like that to get it. Really long. Yeah, it was, was retarded. I also have a Slayer Stuff. 55 Slayer is Cancer with one attack. And also have Eddie Gloves. By the way, Eddie Gloves are the best gloves you can get with one attack. And since they give 7 strength bonus like a region brace you need to get them when you start out an obi tank so i want to show you that i'm not sure if everyone knows that you can do the dwarf ward face pirate pete lumberge guide evil dave and scratch ugwili with one attack monkey ambassador and seer amic wares are not possible and by the way if you ever start out an obi tank doesn't matter if 33 uh, or 45 or 75 or even 40 defense. Do a Dragon Slayer in the beginning. You get like 33 strength and 33 defense from it. And you can do it with like 13 mage if you are on a member server easily. Since you can use really good food and stuff. And it starts you out a lot faster than training it up at Rock Crabs. And then get... Uh, Eddy gloves as soon as possible and you will gain a lot of combat levels from that and then you can go for the slayer grind which is really cancerous. Okay get let's get to six. So here on Michael's sixth I gained like two smithing levels, four agility levels, one strength level, then one magic level down here and three fishing levels 97 now. And I also gained 54 wood cutting level and I'm 57 now. So, like on the other accounts I did some fishing, AHK got disallowed or bannable. I 
because some people abuse the shit out of it and didn't use it like mouse keys. I don't like mouse keys since I need to press 5 and 2 and I need to hold control all the time and then it's cancer or I need to use, um, how is it called, the other tool that presses control automatically and then I, you can type a shit and then mouse keys is like cancer. So I stopped doing fishing and started doing wood cutting. Also on here, I'm really low HP. I'm only 16 HP with 92 strength and 94 ma uh, range and 95 mage. So I splashed the mage, cannoned the range and used barrel on head from 80 to 92 strength, which is a method which is also on my channel for cannoning. I'll also have a method on my channel, which is just cannoning cage ogres, but in depth with prices and stuff, how many cannonballs you probably need and stuff. So the untradeables I got on here is the decorative armors and the halo. So something most people don't know about is the quiver, which looks quite cool and costs 40 points. I have it on here because I'm not going to get an Avis accumulator. I probably just get 99 range and use the range cape to be honest. And also I will get 13 prayer in the future so I can do desert treasure and stuff. And also I think one prayer isn't really good and 13 prayer with the 10% uh, strength bonus for like one or two combat level is totally worth it even on a low HP, low level pure. So in the future I will get it to 99 range and 99 strength probably will, to be honest, will probably take me over a year but who cares. Let's get to the next account. So here on Michael 7th, I gained one strength level, seven fishing levels, eight agility levels, eight farming levels, which isn't something to be proud of, and 26 wood cutting levels, which isn't something to be proud of as well. So less than 1 million experience left to 99 strength. I think I will get quite a bit of that just at sand crabs and don't care about fishing too much at the moment because I want to max that out, account out. Finally, by the way, little shout out to OBCC right here. Cool OB clan chat. With all my other accounts apart from 5th and 7th, I chill in my own CC, Michael's first. You can join there as well. But with my OBs, I chill in here with a lot of amazing OB maulers. So, untradeables, I got the Halo, I got the Warrock armor, Slayer stuff isn't really an untradeable, but yeah, 55 Slayer takes a long time, and I got an Unholy Book. I still need to get a Fire Cape, Imbued Berserker Ring, and I need to get the, this Bone Dagger for the spec, or I need to unlock the Bone Dagger spec with the quest. I haven't done that yet, but I need to do that. Let's get to the next account. So here on Michael's 8, I did a lot of preparation for Monkey Madness 2 because I need to do that quest to use the Heavy Ballista again to unleash the power of this account. So what stats did I get? I got two range levels, one mage level, then I got 14 slayer levels, so I have 69 for Monkey Madness 2. Also got 30 thieving levels, a lot of hunter levels, I think. Then I got two agility levels, nine crafting levels, like eight woodcutting levels, 19 farming levels, 11 fire making levels, 17 cooking levels, two hit points from the slayer, one fishing level and three smithing levels. So what untradeables do I have on here? So I have full void melee and range, then I have a rune defender, I got the berserk ring, the treasonous ring, the archer's ring, the seer's ring imbued, I got the black mask imbued and I got the fire cape. So for all the people wondering why I got the treasonous ring imbued, this is because I did a lot of my range training with a cannon at Dekanoffs while training melee there. I don't even know if it's worth it, but then the treasonous ring is good because you get more stat bonus so your cannon hits better while using a leaf bladed sword which is clearly the best weapon for 50 attack. So maybe this is a good method, clearly a good method if you want to stay some HP levels lower. By the way, on here I'm combat level 81 with wench, really high range, nice strength, Gmail hits amazing. It's a really nice build, but I need to get the heavy ballista back so I can really demolish and penetrate those pures. Here on Michael's 9th, this is my HS pure. I did a lot of range and strength training, so I trained like 13 strength levels and 4 range levels. 
Also, I got two farming and 16 cooking levels, which were for, for a quest, I think. So, soon enough, I'm getting 99 range and strength on here, and then it will be nearly finished, and I only need to get 99 mage and do some quests to finish it up. But so far, it's really nice for PKing, but I don't really have any untradeables on it, because I'm still not able to do one prey or low prey fire caves i need those protect from range and protect from magic or i have no idea what i should do to be honest because that tick eating shit always fails for me or it, it works for quite some time but then i fail one tick and i'm dead and like fuck this shit for now so let's get to the next account here on michael's 10th this is my d clause pure or 60 attack pure Remember, 10th to 12th don't have a space here. A lot of people forget that because it would be longer than the maximum name length. So on here I get got 16 attack levels after I did all the quests I had to do. Then I got 49 strength levels. I got 20 range levels. By the way, 91 range is the level where you can hit a 20 one with rune arrows and at 96 you can hit a 22. I'm not sure the threshold is at 91 and 96 if you're praying melee prayers because I mostly do that because the prayer switching takes too much time for me and then I forget to eat or my switches aren't clean. So I just hit some hits with the range prayer in the beginning of the fight and then I go to the melee prayer and camp the melee prayer even though I'm using range. But it's not worth it for me. I tried it a lot of times. My clicks are too shit for it. So I also gained like 26 HP levels from that, like 19 fish levels for a quest. I started getting Mithril Gloves, I still didn't finish that because I always quested on like 7 accounts and that's cancer. Then I got 30 mining levels from a quest, I got 1 agility level for um, whatever, probably lamps or shit. And I got like 8 smithing levels and that's all I gained on here. It's already quite a good pure and I got quite some cool clips with claws already but I sold them again. I probably will make PK a bit soon since I already have like over 100 cool kills saved up and probably cut the best ones together and delete the rest like always. So here on Michael's 11 I got hell a lot of levels from quests and other stuff and I got to 94 mage finally in the last few months. So on here I got 4 attack levels, 13 strength levels, 30 HP levels, 41 death levels, all quested by the way. Then I got two prayer levels, I trained those because I need to train to 31 anyway and I don't think I will get any more XP. I think I will do the task in the wildy where I have to bury a, how is it called, a lava dragon bone on lava isle. So if I in the future ever want to do that wildy diary, which I don't think I will ever do, but still, then it will be unlocked. Then I got 15 mage levels, as I said already. I got 30 crafting levels for lunar diplomacy, but I still haven't finished the mining because I still need five more levels for that. Then I also got 13 thieving level for some other quest, I think. I got 69 cooking levels and got it up to 70. Got eight farming levels from a, re a recipe for disaster quest. Got some, got 18 wood cutting levels for lunar diplomacy. Got 16 smithing levels from some other quest, and got 11 fire making levels from some other quest I think, and I got 52 fishing levels, and I got one slayer level from recipe for disaster. And on tradables I got on here, I just finished my void range and melee set today, which is really nice in my opinion because it will be useful when training range and maybe the melee set, I'm not sure if it's better than like uh, better than a torso and uh, and big gloves when training strength. I need to test that when I get big gloves in the future. Fuck man, you all know I won't get them in several months, but well, maybe one day I can make myself quest. I don't know. I don't know how all these guys do that. They're like, oh, I made this new account. I already have big gloves on them and I'm like, what the fuck man, I have Michael's 4 for 3 years and it's still no big gloves on there because I hate questing so much, but oh well. Let's get to the last account. So right here on Michael's 12th, I nearly got the same stats as on Michael's 11th. 
but the difference is already trained to 49 prayer. I'm going to train that to 70 anyway, but I didn't feel like it at that time. I already have the D-bones banked and yeah, it's not that much money to be honest. But this is going to be my 60 attack um, 70 defense build. So I already got myself a full range set, full void range set. I didn't get myself a melee helm yet. I have like 194 points, but I'm not sure if I'm going to get a melee helm because with 70 defense, Bandos is clearly better for training melee. And I'm not sure if I need the melee helm anywhere. So I'm just going to let the points stay there. So I'm not getting tempted to use them, but maybe the mage helm is better. I don't know. So I think these were all my accounts and I don't think a lot of people watch the whole thing, but if you're there, thank you, bro. Because now you know more about my accounts than most people do. And I hope you enjoyed all that rambling. So leave a like, sub to my channel. If this is the first video you watched, which is probably not that way because those videos usually don't go that viral, to be honest. So what can I say? Thank you for watching. Leave a comment. Nah, what should the comment be? Leave a comment which says 869 if you stayed so long. So 869, just post that as a comment to prove that you stayed until the end. Thank you for watching and bye.